Yeah, so a little bit of background. I think many people in the room have been to several Orconf. Who's been to Orconf before? Most people, I think. But anyhow, you will see the same slices every year. <laughs> so yeah. you know what it's about. So it's a two-day conference. We have today and tomorrow. Um, we will get into locations later. Sorry? Three days? No, the third day, like, we have two days of conference, and we have one day of um, an unconference. On Sunday, as you remember last year, we had workshops and other opportunities to mingle on Sunday. Also, many people travel out Sunday morning already. Uh, but if you're still around on Sunday, there will be a location with multiple rooms where we can have smaller workshops, etc. We will talk about it uh, briefly later. We have a lot of great talks. We have already some sign-ups for lightning presentations. Where will the lightning presentations be this time? Put the mic up, yes. Uh, the lightning talks will be at the social venue on Saturday evening. So those that attended last year, we had the same. We had it in the evening. So it's a great opportunity to showcase your project, your idea, whatever, just two minutes, three minutes. Three minutes. Two minutes. Three. <laughs> two, maybe three minutes um, of uh, like one slide or like, you don't even need a slide, just your opportunity to reach a lot of people and get some interest in your project. Um, I think it's a pretty nice format. And um, yeah, I think it's a great chance for everyone to meet again, um, that you meet annually at Orconf or at other occasions, but the socializing is the important part of Orconf to us. Um, some things to know. Uh, we have a code of conduct, so you already signed up, you already agreed to the code of conduct, so I don't have to read it out to you. It's on the internet, uh, please make sure you are nice to each other. Uh, Wi-Fi is very easy this time, at least today. Tomorrow, I don't know, uh, we'll find out. <laughs> but uh, today it's just Lind Holman guest, you can, uh, without signing, just connect to the Wi-Fi, you're connected, you're on the internet. We have a chat again on Matrix, uh, so if you have elements or any other uh, chat tool, you can uh, connect to this. I give you a few seconds to uh, make a screenshot. Do we have it on the website yet? Yeah. Yes. yes, so even better, just go to the website or connect with your phone now. Um, we will not put important information there. We will try to give everything to everyone here in the auditorium, but it would be great if you um, be there. And what we had last year, I think people shared like further information about what they've been talking about, like links to their projects, links to um, stuff that came up during the Q&A. Um, so it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, so brief, brief introduction of POSI Foundation. POSI is short for Free and Open Source Silicon, um, abbreviated POSI. Uh, we are a nonprofit registered in the UK which still isn't a good idea, but was a good idea at one point in time. <laughs> 20, uh, 20, 2014, it was a great idea. 2024, it's not a great idea, but we are still registered there because we're a nonprofit, we can't move. Um, so it's a nonprofit, we are a community uh, run organization. We all do this voluntarily. Uh, we all have day jobs and just do this as a hobby. We don't have paid stuff. Um, and our main ambition is to promote and help the open source silicon community in doing whatever they are great in, which is events and their projects. So there's a couple of activities. Um, one thing is that we try to support the community as good as possible, uh, mainly to the events. Uh, we have Orconf and LedgeUp at least. We will have a brief history about how they came together. Um, and uh, we sometimes have more specialized events regionally, but uh, they are pretty rare after COVID. We, tr we try to do more of them in the future again. Um, also, uh, we have this concept of guardianship. There's a couple of projects, the most popular one, CocoDB, um, that get abandoned or where the original maintainers don't have any more time dedicated, uh, dedicating to it. And the idea is that if you have such a project that is quite popular, you know there's many people using it, but you don't find the time, you can come to us and we will help you finding people that can help you maintaining it, people from the people that are already contributing how to transfer them, we will help you supporting it a little bit. We also can support you with infrastructure if needed. Um, I think that's a pretty, pretty useful thing um, to contribute to the sustainability of the ecosystem. Also, we have a couple of resources. Um, we believe that, for example, the um, topic of licensing has been solved. We um, work heavily in this in the, around 2015 and 16. You find a couple of resources on our website talking about licensing options and um, how they relate to each other. So how do we get there? Yes, uh, so 
12 years ago, uh, we were a bunch of engineers working on a CPU called OpenRISC and uh, a lot of things around that. Uh, and we realized we have never met. So we thought, hey, we should meet up and uh, see each other and uh, talk about the stuff that we're working on. Um, so we started with, I think, Jules and someone else, Stefan maybe. Um, they met up at a pub in Stockholm. Uh, and thought, hey, this was fun. We should do this more organized next time. So we started an actual conference called the Open Risk, Open Risk Conference uh, in 2012 in Stockholm. Uh, and we met up and had a couple of talks. Uh, some of these people who were there are still here. Uh, some have left and some have come new. Uh, we thought that was fun, so we should do this again. So we went to Cambridge the next time. And it grew a bit, and for the first time that year, we also had people coming in who we didn't know about. Uh, and that was a pulp project, which probably most of you people know by now. They started out using OpenRISC. Uh, and we thought, hey, this is fun, we should do this again. So we went to Munich, and uh, at that conference, there was also some other weird CPU architecture showing up called RISC-V. Mm -hmm. uh, and we thought, come on. We don't need another uh, open <laughs> CPU architecture. Uh, what are you doing here? But yeah, uh, they stayed. Uh, <laughs> and this is also the year where we decided to create the Fosse Foundation. Um, but that took some time. So in 2015 was the first year that we actually did OrConf as the Fosse Foundation. This is where we also announced the Fosse Foundation. And by now we had grown to about 100 people. And this is kind of the form that we have had since then. Uh, two days of presentations and just about a hundred people meeting and having fun and socializing and, and talking and sharing stuff. So we went on, we went to Bologna, we went to Eden Bridge, we went to Gdansk, we went to uh, um, Bordeaux, thank you. Uh, and the idea of moving around was so that people who was not able to travel that much could at least attend one time when it was close to them. But this still left out a lot of the rest of the world, because there's a, something outside of Europe, apparently. Uh, so we decided we should do something in uh, the Americas as well. So we started a sister conference called Latchup, and had the first one in Portland. So now we have two conference series. We have Orconf, which is moving around Europe, and we have Latchup, which is moving around the Americas. We've still only been to the US, but the idea is to also maybe go to Mexico or Canada or other places. Uh, we did also second... There was a bit of pause for reasons after uh, 2019, uh, but we came back and did a uh, second uh, latch up in Santa Barbara and then one this year in Cambridge or Boston. Uh, so, yeah, so we, as I said, our company is spreading, uh, spreading around and we really like to go to new places. Uh, and so, if you have an idea, if you would like to host an Orconf, uh, please get in touch. Uh, we need some good ground support, uh, and that's basically it, and the place to be. Uh, but we're open for IDs. And uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a history of, of Orcom, how we came to be here. Okay, so thank you. So you saw on the map there's still some places we haven't been yet. It would be great if you're from one of those areas that we can move there. I think Julius has a bucket list of places you want to be, right? Yeah. So you can ask Julius <laughs> if, if your place is on his bucket list. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's a call for action. This is all volunteers. Please get involved if you're interested. Um, there's many great projects that you will learn about these days, right? There's some Fossil Foundation projects. We just provide a forum for it. Um, you can become a member. We are trying to better streamline this, but please get in touch if you're interested. It's for free and you just sign up and you're being part of Fossil Foundation and you get more updates than others, which is also not true, I think. <laughs> but in general, like, it's a good way of getting more involved and Maybe you want to be on a core team that helps um, around Orcon for some of the other activities. Um, yeah, there's some other stuff that we are working on. Uh, we will also speak about later today um, uh, and, and ways to get involved. Organizationally, um, there was coffee this morning. Twice. <laughs> oh, don't press. Um, we will have like snacks and drinks during the day. Um, I think we have a light lunch. Yeah. Do we have a proper lunch? proper lunch, not a light snack, <laughs> uh, and drinks during the day on both days. Um, there will be some snacks and drinks after the event today, like as a reception idea, and after that you can hit the nightlife 
Yeah, six to eight today. It's not announced yet because it was a late edition. Yeah. So that, that's tonight. That's, that's tonight. tonight. Six, here at this here, place. Yeah. You just stay here and all of you get in the beer and snacks. That Swedish snacks or? Chipola. Chipola. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and then like there's no like after eight, there's no program today. You can go home or hit the nightlife or stay here in the area. No, this area is not good. You have to take the boat back to get to actual nightlife. I think. And start preparing your slides for tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> okay, and we have a social event tomorrow, right? After the event, it's not at the venue then. We have to transfer. We will show you tomorrow before we leave how to get there. But it's in the same area, right? Um, okay. Not, okay. <laughs> Um, the location tomorrow is not the same as today, um, for organizational reasons. Um, it's down here, so we are on the upper left today. It's more, it's actually more far away from the city center, but it's, it's, it's right around there. I think there's a tram going there, right? I think Google will help you finding the directions. Um, yeah, you can find the schedule at our website. We ask speakers to stay on time. Yeah, to stay on time. Yeah. I, I didn't, I was not involved in the process of deciding I have only 10 minutes. So, uh, so please stay on time. Um, that keeps us on track and have more time for mingling, which I think is very important. Um, if you want to volunteer and moderate the session, please get in touch. You don't have to do much except trying to keep it running and trying to introduce people, etc. Um, the videos and the talks will be available on YouTube. We have run the same setup as last year, so they will be available within a day, usually. We try to upload them in the next break. Um, so you can already, if you're a presenter, share it later today if you want on the socials, um, which I think is great. For Sunday, we, as I said, we don't have an actual program yet, so um, there's no scheduled talks. It's more self-organized, uh, which sometimes works pretty nice, sometimes needs a little bit more push. <laughs> um, but the idea is if you have time, you can come there. We can have some small group discussions and um, you can bring your own ideas, right? You can just say like, okay, there's a lot of presentations around a particular topic. I want to get people in the room talking about this topic and how we could collaborate more, like just get in touch. Um, there's a whiteboard over there. Um, you just write down the topics and people that want to attend this session put some note next to it, I think the plus one or just a circle or whatever, so that we have an idea about how many rooms we need, how many people are in each room. Um, so if you have an idea, just write it down. We will remind you tomorrow, to, and then um, we will arrange for the rooms, etc. on Sunday. Thanks to our sponsors. That's very important. It's a free conference. It's free to attend. We received a lot of donations also this year, which is very great. Thank you very much to everyone. But also big thanks to our sponsors. We have a headline sponsor this year again, which is great, which is Micro, who are also based in Gothenburg, which is great. And a couple of other sponsors, um, which makes us Gives a lot of wiggle room, adding snacks last minute, etc. So with every sponsor that came in, we found new things to spend money. That's very really good. Thank you very much to all the sponsors. Thanks also to the professional ticket holders and the donors. So if you bought a ticket um, that you get reimbursed, that's the idea. You buy a professional ticket and you just get it reimbursed by your company. If you have this option, professional ticket is a great uh, opportunity to help us without sponsoring. Um, also, we opened donations this year. We got a lot of donations. Thank you very much. It's really appreciated. Um, also, thanks to our host, Chalmers University. Is anyone here from Chalmers? No, not yet. <laughs> okay, and uh, the video team, which is Simon. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for recording. You've been recording our conference since the beginning, I think. Uh, no, I, I didn't do the first year. It went, didn't go well. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> um, yeah. Then the local organizer, Olaf, thank you very much. Um, you did a great-ish job. <laughs> <laughs> you did a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah, thanks to us ourselves, uh, the Fossil Foundation team, a lot of organization went into this event, um, and most thanks to the speakers, because they are creating the program, it's not us, and all of you. Let's make this a great conference. Thank you very much. Before we jump into it, oh, the image is missing, uh, we have the newsletter, Equo Libre. If you haven't registered yet, please register to this newsletter. You get a weekly uh, a monthly newsletter with all the updates from the community pointing to interesting projects, releases, I don't know, like uh, opportunities to collaborate. And also get in touch if you have things you want to share. Yes. Because we are uh, collecting news from all over the place. But if you have something you think should be part of El Coro Libre, then please get in touch and tell us because we can't be everywhere. So, thank you very much. Let's get started. Sure. Right on time. Uh, enjoy the conference. Question. Who's the best person to talk to? 
The best person to talk to about Color Libre is probably me and the editor. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the program.